Okay guys, so I wanted to show you guys this rig. Uh, uh, this is what I use for all amplifications for you know all the gigs I have, whether it's for bands or for DJs. Uh, and so at the very top, we got the cheapy Behringer mixer that I use for the snake. So eight channels XLR and then a few extra inputs. But I don't use that to connect directly to DJ uh, gear because uh, it's digital, so I don't want any conversions of the pads. This is the power supply that powers everything. Um, I just replaced the lights in here with uh, some LED, um, you know, can uh, LED 120 volt lamps uh, that don't burn out like the ones that it comes with. Um, that powers everything. Uh, for the power, we got this massive. 2400 watt Nady audio amp for the suds, and then I have this uh, smaller crown here that I use for uh, a smaller, punchier carbon sub that I own. And then this one is crossed over to high frequencies for for some specific high frequency three way speakers I have. And this one's full range for just like the full range into another three way speaker that I have. And then I'm crossing everything over with this Nady Audio crossover. And then this EQ is also in there before the line. Uh, but the first thing in the audio path is the compressor. This compressor is the first thing that plugs into anything. Um, that way it keeps my limits and my levels proper. And if some asshole DJ decides he wants to overdrive my gear, it won't overdrive. Um, and then this is my favorite part of the gear. The Sonic Exciter, uh, it fills in digital sound, uh, you know, that is 24 bit or whatever kind of bits it is, and it, it fills it in so it sounds a little fatter, more analog, punchier, and crisper. So, this is really nice. It's a better version of like a BBE or whatever. This is just much better. Um, in the back side here, um, you can see all the wiring. Um, I was kind of picky about the wires that I, that I used for this. I wanted the best wires. And then of course um, a 50 foot XLR snake for bands, which I won't use unless the, you know I'm, I'm playing with a band. And then two XLRs for uh, you know a live DJ or other line inputs. This is hot so this is not line. This can only be used for uh, you know microphones, which I have a rig of Shure mics. And they're all SM57s and SM58s. And this is the rig I use for rentals. Um, I, I rent this on occasion from time to time. It's so loud and it's so clean that typically with bands you don't need anything more than this. Uh, tiny little mixer here. Uh, and for DJs it just sounds fat and awesome. 